We're so close to the end. Sit. Limnian wine. The island of Lemnos. Near the place of my birth. Journey's end. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Ah. Uh -huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Gonna go see the giant. Ah, having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on. Ah, I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Rota. Whoa, the name made it light up. It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. could have been happy, but he only wanted her magic? Aye. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity.
There's something down there. You want a beach here? Are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plague these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. The thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor. But his judgment was swift and brutal. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. One more for the collection. Hey, 
It's another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Kvig. <laughs> Remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted? What do you mean? The desolation, child. It plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy. I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you.
which way? Correct. But can we this just... This is not a... You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? That one seemed to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. Should we dock on this beach? Bones. What will you say to her? To Govi? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She's dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you. Nothing. Nothing? There is nothing left to say. What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house? Talking to the world serpent? We've done so many amazing things. I just want to tell her about them. Don't you? What else would you say to her? I tell her that... It's okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I... I miss her too. You know this. I thought I knew very little. Wow. It's like...
like there was an entire city under the water. My lad, a forgotten city. What was it called? Now, uh, well, I forgot. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran get the hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than this. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Like not being able to leave Midgard. Or still, he robbed her of a warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. So would I. Did you see something out there? That tower? I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. This is where the tower to Jotunheim should be. Feels strange somehow. No doubt some arcane magics were involved. I would be not at all surprised to learn you are sensitive to that. Another name. Here, Drupal. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? You say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants. To what? I don't think anything could get through all that hell, Brandon. The 
the final bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just... Never mind. I just gotta return the bones. I wonder why Goofy's bones are all over the place. Desecration, typically. Pieces of scattered corpse make for a piss poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. done here. We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! She says she'll honor our request. Eldifagna. And reunite us? In the Okay. So. You are naive, foolish boy. This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. said Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants. There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir.
put in a persuaded tear that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tear was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. We knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust, but they trusted Tear. Tear always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Or I can just tell you this story later. Syndrome of God. Would you like to see the look on his face? No. I may have kept your secret too long, but now you will keep our secret. Huh. I can read these now. It says Muspahan. The Fire Realm is the gauntlet of the sewer share. Like a ma magic glove? Of course. I told you. We should come back with the cipher. I told you. We should come back with the cipher. Oh. Boy, over here. Ah, I was wondering about this. Why should we hide what we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too. For good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same, lad. Don't fret. So, lad. Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh! What if we get to Jotunheim, and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh oh! Oh! I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh, let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... 
All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear then. Guarantee you'll like my work today. The armor strong. Good advice. stop us okay which way up hey Sindri check this out my we're excited to spend some hack silver aren't we like that aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother of course but it serves nothing to make an enemy of him he should know the truth even if it hurts it was needless and unkind the truth is more important than kindness your mother would disagree she wasn't a god You let me carry her up from here. No. Why not? We're almost there. You know I can handle it. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I questioned that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. And you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Carry her yourself.
Amir, if you knew all along that we were gods, why come up with the story about Odin trying to follow us to Jotunheim before we get there? Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle, and his purposes oh. are... Enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. Odin's doing too. Nice try. You and Mother always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tyr wasn't. Freya neither. The Acer gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst, and he's dead. They're no better than us, and they're gonna be sorry they picked this fight. <laughs> me me for what you did to Magni my own father call me a coward looks like he did more than that move it or we'll pick up where he left off I'll kill you no is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. <clears throat> Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. 
So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever.